This is the worst. Oh no, the strap broke. We finally had a weather window on the Sunshine Coast, but no boat. So we decided to use our original boat, the kayak. The water was really green inshore, so we figured why not paddle out some two kilometers to see if it cleans up. It just gets right up to it. Oh no, we went wrong. Oh. To be honest, it didn't look too appealing. 20 metres of water and less than 5 metres of visibility. But after jumping in, diving to the bottom and seeing the fish life, it didn't seem so bad. The pole was loaded with big eye trevally. In Australia, we can be quite picky with our table fish, but honestly, if you fry up one of these trevallies and put it next to a kingfish, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference. Oh, they're all bigger than they look, eh? It's got on our way to the second to yeah the second spot. Hopefully some viz. It wasn't too good out there, but uh, at least we got some fish. What do you think, Louis? Oh, that was pretty scary. No, nah, it wasn't that bad. It was a bit raw. A bit raw, yeah. So for this goat fish cook up, I decided to keep it simple. I gave the fish a quick brush with some egg yolk, rolled it in breadcrumbs and sprinkled on a bit of seasoning. I then pan fried the fish until it was golden brown. I also quickly did up a salad as well and put my unused crumbs in the salad. Frugal. Same as the trevally, the goat fish or Moana Kali is not really a target species in Australia. I remember shooting my first one ever in a spearfishing competition and it was quite a good size. I showed a pretty experienced and open-minded spearer and he told me it would actually taste great as goatfish sift through the sand eating small crabs and other crustaceans. They're actually a delicacy in Hawaii. I'll link up some videos at the end to show you. So, dig in. Mm. Tastes like it eats a lot of shrimps and things like that. Alright, so just finished eating that uh, that little goat fish, the Moana Gully. Um, it's pretty good. You know, even even though it's quite small. It wasn't too hard to pick away the, um, the meat and um, tasted pretty damn good. So yeah, definitely a target species, I'd say. All the scraps into the compost, as you can see. And now I put the log back on for my dog. Going through the compost. 
sometimes she still gets in. Nice first day out on the Great Barrier Reef, eh? Living the dream. Living the dream, <laughs> that's for sure, yeah.